Have you ever wondered what it feels like to be in the middle of a wildfire? Imagine the scorching heat, the blinding smoke, the relentless roar of the flames. In the face of such an ordeal, what choice would you make, to stay or to evacuate? Today, we delve into the gripping story of a wildfire that swept through Victoria's West, forcing entire communities to make that exact decision. In the early hours, the day was just like any other, but as the sun climbed higher, temperatures soared and strong winds began to whip up the land. A total fire ban was put into place. On the horizon, a monstrous fire was stirring between Ballarat and Ararat in the Pyrenees Ranges. A thousand firefighters were called to arms, ready to battle this beast of a blaze. As the clock struck half past eight in the evening, the situation escalated. Emergency warnings were issued for more than 30 communities. Residents of these towns were advised to leave immediately before conditions became too dangerous. The warning was stern and clear. Emergency services may not be able to help you if you decide to stay. Yet despite the dire circumstances, hope was not entirely lost. Relief centers were quickly set up at the Learmonth football ground. Meanwhile, more than a thousand firefighters were on the ground, fighting the fire that had already consumed 5,000 hectares. From above, two dozen aircraft were engaged in a relentless water bombing campaign. The fire was moving rapidly, throwing spot fires hundreds of meters ahead of the fire front. The Langi Kalkal prison was preparing for evacuation and several roads were closed. The fire was a mere 60 kilometers away from Pominal, a town that had recently lost almost half of its homes and businesses to a devastating fire. As the night grew darker, wind changes worsened the conditions. The fire chief warned that the situation would get worse before it got better. The strong winds would turn one side of the fire into the main fire front, putting more communities under threat. The advice was clear. If you're in the emergency warning area, leave now and go to Ballarat. To recap, a wildfire in Victoria's West prompted the evacuation of dozens of communities. Over a thousand firefighters battled the blaze as emergency warnings urged residents to leave immediately. Relief centers were established and several roads were closed due to the fire. As conditions worsened, the fire chief warned that the situation would deteriorate further before improving. The advice to those in the emergency warning area was to evacuate to Ballarat. Such is the terrifying reality of a wildfire. It is a stark reminder of the power of nature and the resilience of those who face it head on. Whether it's the firefighters on the front lines or the communities who must make the hard choice to leave their homes, the human spirit shines brightly amidst the smoke and flames.